so hello guys welcome back with another video of salesforce geek channel and in this video we are going to create a lightning component uh, just to add on a functionality which is copy to clipboard functionality as you can see on the screen if you want to copy some text over a particular text area so simply you can copy with a, a button click and paste it anywhere so without any delay let's start with the video first of all what you have to do you have to move into developer console obviously uh, so now create a lightning component let's say click on new and click on lightning component now as you can see uh, provide the name of the lightning component so let's say i am providing copy to clipboard lightning component name and let's choose uh, it is available on uh, lightning record page or let's say lightning page so, and click submit Now what you have to do, you have to simply create a div over there and inside a div we are going to create a lightning text area. Let's say text area and provide a value. Let's say welcome to the Salesforce Geek channel. and provide uh, with a with a text area what you can provide yeah you can provide a aura id let's say aura id and let's say input underscore text so this is our aura id just to distinguish the lightning text lightning text area now with the line break let's create a lightning button over there button with the label let's say copy to clipboard and provide on click functionality so let's say for now I am not providing any on click functionality over it and let's say provide icon and which is of utility and copy to so basically you can get all these icon names on google we simply type uh, like, like this uh, icon name for lightning button in aura component you will get a list of icon names and simply i think i am done with the lightning button let's close this div and provide and create a one more div let's say to show the paste copy copy data into the another text bar so for that what you have to do let's create a lightning text area again and paste it here arrange the code and in the value let's say provide null and for instead of aura id provide a label over there label paste the text and simply save your lightning component and now let's create a lightning app just to preview our lightning component so go for new and create a lightning application over there let's say copy to clipboard app and click submit to add SLDS to it, what you have to do, click uh, extend with SLDS. Let's say force SLDS and now call your lightning component here. So the name of our lightning component is copy to clipboard, copy to Okay, B is a small or no, I guess it's okay. Now what you have to do, you have to close the component calling and let's save this. Let's preview it, how our lightning component looks like. 
so as you can see welcome to the salesforce geek channel which is the default value and here is a copy to clipboard button and here is the icon name and here is the label of the uh, basically the second text area we provided to paste the uh, copied text and let's move to the developer console again and let's work on the functionality of the button and go to the component and here you can see on click i did not provide any name right now so let's provide the name and copy text so this is the function name and copy the function here go to controller click on controller and change the name of the function and in copy text what you have to do uh, you have to some simply get the copied input so let's create a variable for it where copied input so let's say with the help of component dot find as we provide the aura id over there so let's provide the aura id and with the help of get function we can fetch the value of that lightning text area and terminate it and let's go back to the lightning component and copy down the input text which is or id for our first text bar text area and paste here and let's check whether we are getting the copied input let's save the controller and save the component to go back to the lightning application refresh your application as you can see uh, welcome to the salesforce geek channel and let's click on the button as you can see welcome to the salesforce geek channel that input text is coming on the variable so let's move, go back to the developer console and now let's start with the next functionality now as we get as we are getting the response in our variable so let's call a helper helper method now helper dot copy and let's say copy the text and provide the parameters let's say component event and we are also providing the copy to input value to the helper method and here we go let's simply save this now move back to the helper method and click on the helper okay and change the helper method here now provide the parameter let's say component and in the component next we have event and next we have the value which is which we are passing from the controller so let's say input copied input text now we have to simply use uh, some dom elements properties so we have to create a variable and let's say copy input so now we have what we have to do we have to use the dom properties let's say document and we have to create a element document dot create element which is of type text which is of type input sorry for that and now what we have to do we have to simply set the attribute for this uh, created element so let's say copy input dot set attribute and in the attribute what we have to provide we have to provide the value and value is coming from basically the copied input text now what we have to do as we can as we already created now we have to set uh, this uh, created element into the body now let's what we have to do document dot body append child append child and what we have to provide here is copy input now after providing uh, a 
append after append the child into the body what we have to do we have to select this copy input let's say copy input dot select because we have to select first of uh, before copying something and as we, this is the basic uh, code for that now after this what we have to do we have to simply execute the copy command for that or uh, let's say document uh, dot execute command and which is of copy and now what we have to do we have to simply remove the child we have to remove the created element from the body so instead of append child we have to use remove child now after that uh, what we have to do as we have select now and we also copied the uh, input coming from the controller now what we have to do we have to basically change the label of the button and icon name so for button what we have to do uh, we have to use event dot get source so with this functionality basically we can get the clicked button at get source so basically event dot get source will provide the clicked button and after that what we have to do we have to simply set the value of v dot label as copied because uh, when we clicked on the button so label should be changed to copied and simply in the same manner what we have to do we have to set the icon name to let's say utility check now as you can see we change the uh, button over there we set, uh, change the property of the button now what we have to do we have to simply uh, uh, again set these uh, properties of the button after some uh, little time let's say uh, 200 millisecond or 300 milli uh, 3000 millisecond uh, depend on our uh, us so let's what we have to do we have to set set timeout and inside function let's say this and we have to provide the time let's say 2000 millisecond and inside this so we have a function and let's open and close parenthesis and now what we have to do we have to copy these two two things and let's change it Control shift plus tab now label we have to again set the original label so for that what we have to do let's create a variable uh, before click before click label so for that what we have to do we have to use event dot get source and let's say get v dot label terminate it and use this before click label into the label and uh, instead of utility check uh, simply change the icon name as it is before so it is I guess copy to clipboard so let's copy it down and paste it in helper save it and I think I'm pretty good with the code terminate it let's save this and as we are good so let's move back to the app and refresh it so this should work according to the functionality so let's check as you can see welcome to salesforce geek channel and if i clicked on this button 
it is uh, as you can say over there okay it is uh, the label of the button is not changed so let's see what is the problem where even dot get source get v dot label what is the problem with this okay so we already set our copied button over there and we use this where before click uh, label so we have to uh, remove it from there and paste it here okay and now what we have to do simply save our component and let's move back to the application and refresh it again so our uh, label should change according to the functionality as we copy down the text and after a little time out the properties of the button should changed and after that it will back, come back to the original state as it is, it is in the beginning as you can see copy to the clipboard so as right now welcome to the salesforce geek channel let's click it and now as you can see it is changed according to the functionality and if i click right click over there and click paste so here you can see welcome to the salesforce geek channel let's change the text of the first text bar text area let's say subscribe our channel for more such videos and let's copy it and in the second text area let's right click and click paste as you can see subscribe to our channel for more such videos so yeah guys please subscribe it if you will get more lot of more videos like that and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you so much